Hi, I'm John Camp with Movie Blog. This is my quick review of the new film, Smart People. Smart People is a film I've been dying to see ever since I saw the trailers for it because it seemed to have kind of a Juno crossbred with um, sideways feel to it. And since I absolutely loved both those films, and since Thomas Hayden Church and Ellen Page are both in the film, I thought, hey, why not add on top of that Dennis Quaid, who I think is just absolutely rules, why not? And I am happy to say Smart People absolutely delivers and is now, at this early point, my absolute favorite film of 2008. Smart People follows the story of Dennis Quaid's character, who is a university English professor who is very rigid. He's pretty stone cold. He's detached. He's lifeless. As you find out in the film, his wife died a number of years ago, and he's never been able to get past it or deal with it. He's kind of this self-obsessed asshole who is a good-natured asshole, but is an asshole to the people around him nonetheless. The whole Madrid of characters in this film are wonderful. Ellen Page as his daughter, Hayden Thomas Church as his adopted brother. Each character, and herein lies the brilliance of smart people. Some people will look at smart people and make the mistake, understandably so, that smart people is just another romantic comedy when nothing can be further from the truth. The film is a comedy and it is damn funny, especially Ellen Page and Thomas Hayden Church. But really it's a character study. It's a look at this group of people who each for their own unique reasons is pretty much held captive and held back and imprisoned by their own personal pain, whether it's the pain caused by the death of, of a spouse years ago that you've never been able to move on from, whether it's the pain of a daughter who is trying to find her own identity in the identity of her father, but she has her own deal issues to deal with that she can't kind of function under while trying to be her father at the same time. You have the adopted brother who lives with the pain of constant failure in his life. He, he's more than halfway through his life now, and he, he's got really nothing to show for it. And intriguingly enough, all these people with their different types of pain that is holding them back from really living life, they're only held captive to that pain by themselves because you live with pain for so long that it becomes familiar and it becomes a part of your identity and the thought of the risk of stepping outside that pain or trying to move beyond it is terrifying. And on that level, I thought this film absolutely was genius. It resonated with me on several levels and I mentioned in my written review above that when a film, you can tell I really love to film when I walk out of a theater and I instantly start reflecting and thinking about my own life in terms of the issues raised in the film. And smart people did that for, for me. It's funny, it's smart, it's deep, and I think it's an absolute winner. I can understand why some people wouldn't like this film. I really, really can. This film will not be for everybody. And I, I won't argue with anybody who says it's not a good film or doesn't like it. All I can tell you is that for me, it really resonated. I absolutely fell in love with this film. Right now, it's my favorite film of 2008. And I expect it will be on my top 10 of 2008 by the end of the year. Overall, I give smart people a 9 out of 10. For the Movie Blog, I'm John Campia.